In this problem, we're told in a slab shot, a hockey player accelerates the puck from a velocity of 8 meters per second to 40 meters per second in the same direction. If this shot takes 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds, calculate the distance over which the puck accelerates. Right, so the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. Right, so we have this puck, right, and so we know the initial velocity of the puck is going to be 8 meters per second. Right, and it's going to be traveling this way, and then the hockey player is going to hit it, right? So it's going to, they're going to hit it for 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds, right? And it's going to reach a speed of 40, uh, 40 meters per second, right? And so what we're trying to do is find the distance that it's going to travel over this time, right? So what we're trying to do is find delta x, right? So we'll say delta x equals question mark. So that's basically what's going on. And so what we want to do next is write down the given. So basically, when you do the given, you just want to write uh, the kinematic variables that you're given, right? So we know the initial velocity is 8 meters per second, right? So we know 8 meters per second. We know the final velocity, right? The end of the interval is 40 meters per second. We know the time this is going to take, right? Which is 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds. And then we also know that we're solving for delta x, right? Which is basically the change in the position or how far something travels, right? So. Basically what we have is three kinematic variables and we're trying to find delta x. And so if you look at the kinematic equations we have, right? Notice uh, one, three, and four all contain acceleration, which we don't know, so we're not gonna use those. And if you look at the second one, delta x equals v plus v sub zero over two times t, notice we have all those variables, right? So we have v sub zero, we have v, we have t, so what we can do is solve for delta x, right? All we gotta do is just plug it in. So delta x is gonna be equal to v, sub, or v plus v sub zero, so v is, uh, right, 40 plus v sub 0, right, which is 8, divide by 2, right, so 40 plus 8 is 48, and then divide by 2, which is going to be 24, so I'm just going to simplify this to 24, and then multiply by the time, right, so the time is 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2, right, so go ahead and do this, 24 times 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2, you're going to get delta x, equals 0.7992, and then it's going to be measured in meters, right? Because we measure position or distance in meters. So you can round however you want. You can say 0.8 uh, or just 0.799. Just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to do. But 0.799 meters, that's going to be uh, uh, the distance that the puck is going to travel. So this will be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.